Can you hear me? The little things going up and down. Can you hear can you hear me? Oh, okay. Awesome. I don't need to reboot then. <laughs> the one time I don't do a fucking sound test, right? Jeez. Okay, who have we got? We've got Callie and Galena and Mary and April so far. Hello, ladies. How are we doing? God me. Now he was adamant he wanted to come down and see everybody. But he looks like he's dozing off. You need a second cup of coffee. Mikey's gonna be late, yeah, I saw she's um jumped in the shower, isn't she? Hello Jolyn. And I don't know whether it's calling down or not. Hi Rob. <sighs> right. So, I, I, okay, sweetheart, um, Galena is going to be in and out, by the way, she told me she would be, so, I haven't yet caught up with yesterday's, or today's, <laughs> I've just quickly sat here and went, sketch, 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 and left it at that, and we need to set up next week. So... We can do that. Oh. Move my mic a smidgen closer. Hello, Tita. We got your package. Thank you so much. Um, I did record opening it, but then I didn't upload last night um, because we were having internet problems and I was exhausted. And But I have recorded us opening it. And I have recorded Daryl's reaction. He is over the moon and I am swamped in stickers now, which is fab. Um, so I will add it into tomorrow's today in my boo journal. Yeah, she's over the fucking moon. So, <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you, Jolyn. That's awesome. Jolyn went shopping. I love when Jolyn goes shopping. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to get. <laughs> She goes, oh, I just bought you some pens. And then I get like, you know, Tombo. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. It's lovely, lovely, lovely package. In fact, is Amber here yet? Amber, are you here yet? I'm going to text her and go, get your ass in my chat. Because I want to show her that paper you sent me because it'll make a jelly. Come on, my life. And the washi, the washi's cool. <laughs> so, how is everybody? Oh, me. Sorry, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm fed up of feeling fucking tired. I'm gonna go to the doctor and go, I can't do this, I can't sleep. So, what I thought I could do was set up next week and then today in my bujo if everybody's all right with that i've got an appointment but it's not for a couple more weeks it's like the first of first of next month i think um mm. can anybody remember where the hell i keep my future log <laughs> oh man <laughs> not in here that's why it's over here <laughs> um it's not in there it might be on my phone mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah it's the first of next month so it's in my phone so I, it, it's not like I can forget it's fucking cold. I wonder if I've got enough of that. 
So what do we think of that one? Girls and guys? I'm trying to sort of stick with a like a Halloweeny type, you know? Now we do. Much a matter to myself. Mm. <sighs> That's where you put all your appointments. What in your phone? Yeah, I used to just rely solely on my phone, and then I took Matthew he's the one with cardiac problems to see his cardiologist for his annual um checkup and um, while we were there they said oh we're going to give you your next appointment now which they never do they usually send it to you in the post and i was like oh right, okay and i pulled my phone out and recorded it all in my phone and i had and i checked it and it was all there and i thought awesome and then we caught the bus back into town and he said to me, he said, what time did they say my appointment was? And I was like, oh, dude, I can't remember. And I pulled my phone out and I knew what the date was and the appointment had gone. And that's why I 100, don't 100% 100 trust my phone to remind me of shit because I'm forgetful. You love fries cooked in the air fryer. I don't have an air fryer. I oven cook my fries. Does that make them what what are they then if 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 i don't fry them i bake them are they bakes instead mm. yeah i do too as a sort of backup but i just yeah no i just that when that appointment disappeared and i was like wow that is like a vital appointment because he needs to have yearly checkups No, I don't put any oil on them. I buy, I'm, I'm cheap. I buy frozen, frozen chips, as we call them, chips, fucking fries, and I chuck them in the oven. Right. I wasn't Halloweeny last week, was I? We seem to go feather dark, feather dark. Awesome. <laughs> That's, I'm gonna call them bakes now and confuse the fuck out of everybody. Oh god, I'm so tired. <sighs> and the wire's coming out of my bra and it's been stabbing me in my armpit all day long. My little army hurts now. And I can't afford to buy a new one <laughs> at the moment. Where is Amber? And Wendy for that matter. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, normally when they come out, they come up the middle and I'll be walking around with this wire sticking up between my cleavage. But it started a few days ago and I was like, why Why does it feel like I'm being stabbed in my, you know, that bit of flesh just there? You know, just not quite in your armpit. And I was like, why does that really hurt? And I put down, and it's, it's the tiniest, I'm talking like, tiny, tiny, tiny amount sticking out of the seam. Ah. Uh, Duct tape. Yeah, I don't have any duct tape. What I ended up doing, because it's right where it sits snug against it, I stuck a little bit of toilet roll, folded it, and made it like so it's quite thick. Just two little squares. I can't push it back down. It won't go back down. I tried that once sewn over and it just worked its way through the stitching, you know. So what I did was I got a bit two sheet two squares of toilet roll and folded them up and then just tucked it in and that actually worked quite well. So I was like that'll do for now until I can afford to buy some more. Cause it turns out I forgot to pay a bill last month and yeah. That's gonna make things a bit shit this month. And I'm saving for um Daryl's birthday party. I've booked a birthday party for Daryl. Oh, got most of that 
and I've got most of his presents for sort of birthday and Christmas which is awesome and then everybody else obviously for Christmas Yeah. Am I doing a video now? Yeah, I am actually. Yay! Yay! Threw the covers off. Here he comes. Okay, your kiss is ready. <laughs> He's giggling. Yeah, I know you don't celebrate, do you? April's not, not really into it. Am I going to do that? No, because I don't want to have to pull my chair out. You can stand there, that's fine. There you go, look, Galena's giving you lots of kisses. I want so much kisses. So much kisses. Well, that's a bit like... Don't you think you ought to blow kisses back? No. Don't you think you should give them kisses? They write my name on. Oh, look at your name. Oh, there's, there's Suzanne. Hello, Suzanne and Amy. Hello. Hey, you've got the E sound. The S sound, yeah, we're learning our sounds at school I, now. Oh. Doing phonics. Can you remember what that one is? No. Daryl? That's right. I'm all about this. What's that one? Oh. oh. That's right, good man. What's that one, do you know? No. That's N for nanny. And that's where the plane starts. Is that what the plane starts? Is that noise play makes? So what's that one again? Yeah, and what's that one? Clicking castanets. Clicking castanets, that's right. What's this? What's that? That's a signature. That's somebody's name. April wants kisses. April says, where are my kisses? There you go, lots of kisses. Callie's up. Phonics is good. Yeah, see, um, I spent sort of like the last 18 months or so teaching him the names of letters. So like A is for Alex and M is for Mummy and all of that lot. And the preschool were like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You should teach him phonics. And I'm like, but he has to learn both. Okay, yes, phonics are obviously vitally important for spelling out and all that lot. But he still has to learn the name of the letters. So whichever way I do it, he's still got to learn the other one. So, you know, he's gone to school. He knows the alphabet, but he knows ABC, not Abaca. Um, but he's picking up the phonics super, super Mom, fast. Why is there no sound? There is. There's a s underneath it, look. Oh. And what is s what's the, What's that called? Can you remember? What is it? Snake. Snake. Yeah, no, what is it? S. S for Stuart. S for Stuart, that's right. But Stuart's already Dead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the bluntness of children, lovely. Hey, what's this? That's a C for Callie. Can you remember? Yeah? What's, right. What sound does it have? That's K, castanets. That doesn't have the same sound this works with this one. No, I know, it's because it's a different letter. Right, kiss. Mwah, go to and bed. Big hug. Go on, off you go. There's one more kiss from Callie. It is very black. Right, Callie, he would like kisses. Uh, Callie's kisses aren't... Oh, yeah, they are working. Could you do more kisses? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kisses coming, hang on. Mm, my baby. What? That? There you go. Look, April's done lots of kisses. Mom. There's Callie's kisses. Right, go. Mum, that's 11. Is that 11? That is 11. Well done. Yeah, but what's my number? It's a 1 and 2. Yeah, go on. Go, shoo. I'm going to hug you. Go on, off you go. Go on, shoo, Bye. shoo, shoo. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, yes. Very blank with children. <laughs> um... I completely forgot what I was saying there. Good morning, Mum. 
Good night, baby. Now you know why I haven't taken him down to see Stuart's mum. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, he did have a good day, Suzanne. Um, I think it was you that asked. But he's, it's, um, they have the midterm break next week and he needs it. He's very, very, very tired. So I think he'll. I think he'll enjoy having a little bit of a break. I'll enjoy the break of getting up from half six in the morning. you've been up to talk to me tell me things the fence is going well I now have a fence all down one side between me and my neighbor who is overjoyed um, you just wake up morning then <laughs> um, yeah she's absolutely over the moon with the um, the fence down between me and her because it looks pretty on both sides it's one of those double-sided ones rather than just ones that look pretty on one side and I was so excited about it that I didn't even wait for her to get home I sent her a minute I sent her a picture of it just to see what her reaction would be because I was like I can't wait for you to get home you need to see this and she was like wow that looks amazing so she's pleased I'm pleased which is awesome. Do we get pictures of the fence? Would you like to see the fence? I did post in um, chat. Yeah, for the fence. Hang on. You have a leak in your ceiling. Oh, bummer. Um, so as of today, right. This is how it looked yesterday when they finished. Let me pull up my zoomy thing. Crap. Uh, is it that one? Okay, so this was. Uh, I'm trying to find the. This was yesterday when they finished. They spent basically spent the day putting in these posts here. Um, this is all concrete, so they had to dig all the holes and and all of that lot. And it was it was a ton of work. And today it looks like that so there's going to be a gate here and that's going to be a driveway and then there's going to be more fencing going up this way go away up this way and then it will go that way along to sort of close off the rest of my garden but yeah isn't that cool i am really really pleased with it so Yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. Absolutely chuffed to bits. Uh, that sucks, Galena. That really does suck. And it's just like, I'm like, oh, it's taken me so long to get this sodding fence in that um, I can't, like, 
have a celebratory barbecue because <laughs> it's shit weather. Do I have a corner around for pictures? Yes, I do. That's how I round the corners of my book. I have that one. Is that what you mean? And then? Mm, barbecue. Yeah, I know, but it's a bit of a pain in the bum and I just I just cut it. I don't know why. I know I could I could just like do it, but I found it it doesn't always cut through the washi nicely. I don't know. I I think it's because when I had a corner chomper, um it didn't cut through because it was crap and I got so upset that I like ended up ditching the corner jumper completely and um, I just got into the habit of cutting it with scissors so I always do it now I do think oh, maybe I should get the corner and I'm just like oh. and I would one of these days I will buy a new corner jumper because everybody assures me that I obviously got a dud because it was shit run to the gas station and grab some iced coffee okay see you in a bit um, I don't know what colours to do. I've got red, pinks, greens and blues in this bit. <sighs> Hello, uh, I'm, I'm gonna totally Totally butcher this now. Is it Vaishali? Vaishali Mipuri? Oh my word. Can I call you Vi? Is that okay? Yes, Daryl. Orange. Lots of things. Go to sleep, please. Is that orange enough? nine two five that's a bit redder i don't want that one let's do that one welcome to my channel be warned i swear if that is not your um cup of tea thanks for coming see you later <laughs> oh my eyes itch I'm cold. I'm going to moan and groan because it's cold and it's crap and all that rubbish. <laughs> Okie cokey cokey. Brain's gone to sleep. You guys, um, Tita sent me napkins as well. Some of these are absolutely stunning. She sent me a couple of these ones, which are like, oh, zebra or zebra, you guys call it, because you're all weird. And then she sent me these ones, which are really, 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 really pretty. I like those. Let's make a couple of them. And then that one is stunning. I need a sweat, I know. So, or shall? What's a shall? Is that like a cardigan? Look at that. I mean, look. That is beautiful. Oh, I've got a couple of them. And I've got a fab poinsettia one, look. That is like super duper bright. Yeah, they're cool. Really pleased with those. And uh, cute little card look so huh. that all needs to go oh shawl oh okay gotcha sorry 
yeah, I have shawls. I I used to make loads of shawls. I've got lace weight shawls upstairs coming out of my fucking ears. But um, they it's keeping them done up, you know. I found over the years I actually prefer a cardigan. I've got a nice big one and it's upstairs. If I remember, I'll grab it when I run upstairs for a pee. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen. <laughs> oh, I know. Tell me about it. I've got a cardigan that I've been making for my mother for like 18 months and I really need to get on with it and I'm just like, I just can't be bothered. I haven't done any knitting for ages except the odd row here and there on a pair of socks. Just kind of lost all my oomph for it at the moment. I think it's because if I'm sort of watching the TV, I'm usually doing like stepping or something. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I just, I don't know. Yeah, I just, ugh. it's pants and I hate it, but that's just the way it is. feel that way about a lot of things lately so <laughs> I'm waiting to hear back from my nail tech because I text her this evening and I, I miss my nails <laughs> crying face and she's probably sitting there like swearing at me because she's probably giving my appointments away now <laughs> I'll probably get a text saying fuck off. Mm. Okay, right. Ooh, we'll have to set up November next week. Because <sighs> we're like almost there. And I need to sort out Daryl's fucking birthday list. Because I haven't done it. get it done because it's their last day on Friday and then they've got two weeks off and that's like cutting it a bit fine well it's not cutting it too fine because this party isn't until the end of the month but I would still like to get it done okay I 
Should have put that there, shouldn't I? Oh well, never mind. You don't want October to leave. That's because you are Halloween obsessed. Do you do like party or something like that? Are you doing a party, Amy? What are your plans? Because your house decorations look great. Anybody doing Halloween party or going to a party or anything like that? You don't do people in real life? No, me neither. No parties this year. You'll be taking only trick or treat and you're going as Wednesday Adams. Awesome! Kelly, school is having a party fundraiser and so is her gymnastics, so probably just those. See, they're not doing a Halloween party at Daryl's. They are doing... Oh, well, they are doing a Halloween disco. It's not until the 7th of November. Because they're off until um because you know i'm mad and i can't work it out because they're off from the 20th of october it's actually on an that can't be right oh no because they're off that week and that week so it's the week they go back but it's on a thursday and it's on for like an hour after school. And it's on Thursday the 7th of November. I think it was, yeah. Which just seems a bit odd. A bit late, but there we go. And it's not even like a fancy dress. It's just, you know, bring in home clothes, as they call it. Because here in the UK, all school children wear a uniform. If they are within a school. Um, obviously, if you're home-edited, you don't have to. And, um, yeah, so it's like it says here... Um... Oh, no, it is, yeah. Because, see, no, I need to fucking read, don't I? Um, Please send your child in with their fancy dress party wear in a named carrier bag. Teachers will help them get changed... Um, after school for the disco. Disco will be for an hour. Unlimited squash will be provided. Any donations of cakes will be gratefully received. Ooh, I might... Callie, do you fancy making some um, fairy cakes? You and me can make a shed load and take them up. And the children will be ready to collect after an hour from their classrooms. Of course, I've got to pay for it. Three pound per child for an hour. Assholes. Oh, sorry. I'm. I keep forgetting this is glass. 
a small cupcake. So the funny thing is, this is glass, and the ring I wear on my pinky, which is the engagement ring I gave Stuart, this is ceramic. So it makes a heck of a thing when I forget and I clunk it down because it's quite a bulky ring. So, you know, when I go like that, <laughs> that's what that noise is. It's the ring hitting the hitting the thingy. So I apologise for deafening everybody that might actually be listening on earphones. Yeah, they're very easy to make. They're like, um, it's what we call a four ounce recipe. So four ounces of sugar, four ounces of butter, four ounces of flour. And then I think it's, was it one egg? Or was it two eggs? I can never remember. And you just mix the whole kit and caboodle. It's like making a, a Victoria sponge. And you just mix the whole kit and caboodle together, split it into cupcake cases and chuck it in the oven for about 20 minutes, I think. You'll laugh, Callie. I said to Daryl, "Who are we going to invite to your party?" I said, "You can have, you know, you can have some friends." And he went, "Well, I want to invite, was it Jackson and Marley, and Austin and Isabel, and Luca, who lives across the way, and so and so and so and so, but don't invite Tommy." I was like, no, okay then. <laughs> I cracked up. <laughs> just, just the way you just threw it in, like, don't invite Tommy. <laughs> okay. Tommy is a little boy who um, is a bit of a bully. He has a bit of a bully problem. <laughs> and um, I became quite aware of Tommy because his father, who is loud speaks at the top of his voice likes everybody to know that he's there um turned up to preschool one afternoon and the first thing he said to the teachers was has he been naughty today or has he been good but has he been naughty and i was like what so i started to pay attention and this little boy is challenging and that's me being polite um, me being me, uh, he's a fucking asshole. Uh, he, I've seen him grab children round the neck. I've seen him, you know how men square up to each other. And I don't know why they do it because they don't have the equipment that us ladies do, and they do the whole chest thing. I've seen him at the age of three and four do that to other children in the preschool, and I'm like, mm. I've seen him push kids when he doesn't get his own way, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to know that child. And his dad brags about, oh, yeah, when I was in the army and all this lot. And I'm like, you're a fucking dick. No wonder your kid's screwed up. And then he was there one week saying to the staff at the preschool, oh, yeah, he's a bit clingy because I had to go away for work, for training. And I was, I'm was, i standing there behind him like, he works for Aldi. That's a grocery store. I don't know if you guys have Aldi in the UK, US. I think you do, don't you? <laughs> Dude, you work for Aldi. You've been working there like two weeks. I know you have. I was just like, oh, you're a dick. And he was at a party that Daryl went to the other week. And one of the kids there complained that he had pushed her and all of this lot. And it was just like, you know, Audi's a great store. Yeah, it's yours is probably way better than ours, but. <laughs> so while I would ordinarily say, don't be nasty, you know, invite the poor lad, he's probably. 
probably not got many friends. I know that he does have friends because he's one of those kids that the children love to emulate because he's naughty. And quite frankly, I don't really want Daryl hanging with him. As awful as that might sound, that makes me the judgy parent and I hate judgy parents, but you know what? I'm one of the oldest parents down there, so I don't give a fuck. And if Daryl doesn't want to invite him, then Daryl doesn't have to invite him. Oh, I've got lag. I'm not dropping any frames, apparently, but I've got a bit of lag, so I apologise if that's coming across. You're all being super, super quiet. What's going on? I'm not clashing, am I? Am I clashing with Amanda or anything like that? Or is everyone just quiet today? I mean, I know Galena's gone for coffee and your wedding anniversary is on a Sunday next week. Congratulations. You're colouring. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> Setting up November. Ah, awesome. I'm going to do that next week. <sighs> Run out of vodka. How many years is that, Amy? First layer of the background for your challenge. Ooh. Doing homework at the friends. Yeah, right. If you say so, darling. I believe you. Three years five dating awesome congratulations Sorry, I would laugh at that. <laughs> she's hysterical if she's up on, on a, a chair or a... Hello, Andy. How are you, sweetie? A chair or a bed or something. She likes to occasionally get up on Alex's bed. And um, when she decides she wishes to get down, she doesn't sort of go... Or anything like that which you know would be more than enough to alert whoever's in the room that i wish to get off of the bed she shouts at everybody usually because it's kind of like i know mum is downstairs and i want to go down to where mum is so she, for some reason she thinks she's got to shout at me and i'm like he is in the bed so you know bangs and mash oh andy you're making me hungry and i've had my dinner Yes, please.
just so Rico was hurt. The good thing is about dogs is that they're not like cats. And if you laugh at a cat when they fall off of something, they just get really pissed off with you. Beef pot pie. Mm, that sounds nice too. I had breaded chicken, chicken strips and vegetables. Is that the um, Phantasmorphia, whatever it is? You got a partial order of fabric pieces that you ordered. It shows the invoice that it's all there and something's missing. Did you get awesome Halloween fabric? Awesome! Cocks of Paducah. What's that? Oh, book. I got some stamps come today. I've got that one, which I quite like. That one, which is all like postage stamp type ones. And that one. Oh god, this is rough. Oh, I take it you didn't know. Oh crap.
So what happens now then? I mean she's been she's been caught being late twenty times. It's a big thing in school. Does she know you've spoken to... Was it the teacher or the principal or... What did she say? Have we spoken to her yet? Or has she got the whole don't give a shit attitude? Hello, Amber. And where have you been, madam? Well, that was a bit wonky. Is it the same class, Galena, or is she like lots of classes? Okay, Amber, are you ready? I received happy mail and I've been waiting for you to turn up so I could show it to you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at it.
Isn't that fantastic? It's so pretty. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Amber. Amber. Are you ready? Look at it. Isn't that fab? <sighs> I got several sheets of that. Tita sent it to me. <laughs> along with a few other bits. I did do a reveal video. <laughs> I did do a reveal video, which I was supposed to upload yesterday, but when I didn't upload due to shitty weather, um, I thought I would show it off. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but there we go. Um... <laughs> you don't hate me really. You're my friend. You was right. What about that? I know you were. <laughs> never denied it. I never said no, I didn't. I just said I wasn't going to tell you. Didn't I? I'm trying to find out what time the wrestling starts. journal cover yeah i could but i'm not going to be making a journal cover in ages um because i've made my 2021 that was the the, the life flat one and um i've got the junk journal to fill up so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i am allowed to film one match and upload it to youtube i have the owners the founders permission of of opw at cost pro wrestling to up uh film and upload one match and that's it so i will be filming and uploading the fatal four way that alex will be in so yeah i'm quite excited <laughs> yeah so it will appear on my channel um probably the next day um yeah <laughs> so i'm quite looking forward to it yes 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 <sighs> but i thought i see i don't I don't get the whole having separate journals for separate things. You know, it's like you hear people got travel journals and journals for specific subjects. I'm like, no, I have it all in together because then you get to read it all in one go. Yeah. Rather than like, oh, you know, well, what happened on such and such a day? And you've got to flick through 500 journals to find out. So it, it will eventually get used. I just don't know when. So. Okay. Challenge name. Didn't actually put it in here. Yeah, but I like it all in in one, you know? It's just, I just don't know. I just find it a bit weird to not... Yeah, I don't know. Um... I could just take up several pages in my junk journal.
Can I know if you drove it black as well as like, yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Gonna use loads of different colours because why the fuck not? They always pick the worst times, don't they? You're like, I'm in the middle of doing something you can't possibly need to go now. Cat is all pissed off and upset about the disruption to the, her garden. The dog just thinks it's great because they've churned up like quite a lot of the garden and it all smells amazing as far as she's concerned. The cat is like, I'm not talking to any of you, you bastards. And she's just discovered that one of the workmen really, really like her. So she just wants to go out there constantly to see him. <laughs> and it's like, dude, leave the man alone. He's supposed to be doing some work. Does it sound really loud? It's actually quite quiet for this time of night. It's worse than the summer, but it's the main road, excuse me, from like this section of the island to the main town, so. Yeah, but yes, it is noisy. says me going it's quiet and all of a sudden loads of traffic <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna miss Wendy live. Because I will be at the wrestling. Hi, Peyton. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mikey. Yeah, loads of noise. <laughs> Always away. Um, doop, 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 doop,
see April. I do plan on watching you. I put it in here and then I I, I fail miserably because I usually fall asleep. I haven't put any of my weekly stuff in this week. Well, that looks nice and full, doesn't it? Nice and messy. You are nice and clean. Good. Did you have a good shower? Yes, I'm glad you had some help. Nothing worse than feeling ugh when you really need a shower. You're not going live again on Sunday. Um, I don't know. Depends on whether I've got something to do. If you can all think of something for me to do, I will do it. Um, 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 um. could start the November setup. Crafting brush letter, painting or colouring. <coughs> I could do some brush letter, I suppose. What, like how to or, or what? What is it you want me to do exactly? you how to do it okay get the dog they said it'd be fun they said <laughs> well this is true <laughs> could do that I guess You've noticed that you put your razor down, then you're like, dude, I can see pencil lines all over that. Right. Let's squash this mud pack. <coughs> Excuse me.
pointless. On tea dyed paper. <laughs> That's why I always sketch it first, Mikey. Always, always, because then you can adjust it. I and mean, sometimes I spend freaking hours. No, this is um, gouache that uh, Gemma sent me. because I worried for ages and ages about using gouache because I'd never used it before um, and then I did that swatch didn't I a few weeks back in a live and um, I've used it since then mainly because I get a better colour on the tea and coffee dyed paper than I do with watercolours so that's why I went for it and I uh, more even coverage I think it was Andy said to me yeah go on try it try gosh try gosh you'll love it and um, yeah, she was right. It took me ages to like pluck up the courage because I was like, but I know how watercolour works. I don't know how gouache works and all that lot. And I actually did watch some videos and you can treat it like a watercolour or you can treat it like acrylic paint. And it's great. Yeah, this is not very expensive gouache. Um, it's just a generic cheapy one. I don't, I don't think I've still got the box or anything. <laughs> Um, I would like to get hold of some, like, you know, really decent stuff to see if it's any different. But it's nice. Yeah. I don't know, Mary, I like, I just like it. <laughs> the science of the why I don't worry about. There she is. I love gosh. I just like that um it it goes down with less of a brushed look than the watercolours do. I mean I you know, don't get me wrong, I do love the watercolours. Um but the gouache just seems to go down more evenly than what the watercolour does. It's very forgiving. <laughs> well, they say that that looks a bit messy, but there you go. And you can add more and make it darker and.
and I like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it works on the paper the same way that the watercolors do. You can you can move it about, um, but it it's more solid like the um, acrylics. I guess that's something else I need to play with at some point is acrylics. Yeah, quick, I hope it's like what colour? Yes, it is. Picture sent, you've got patents. Okay, cool, I'll have a look in a sec. <laughs> you haven't seen her watercolour selection. Shit, wrong paint. Mikey has all the watercolour ever. She's a watercolour collector. Okay. Hey, if it brings you happiness, Mikey, don't worry about it, girl. That's what I say. way I see it no hobby is bad unless you're starving your family to pursue it excuse me yawning at you all and we know that your boy isn't starving so you know don't worry about it okay so yesterday the word. Shall we see if we can get the calligraphy pen to cover it?
it behaved. You've returned, did you miss anything? I drew a coffin. And I wrote headstone in quite good calligraphy, actually. And the pen behaved, which I'm quite pleased at. I think what I'm not doing is putting enough pressure down because I'm, I'm, ugh, flex nibs freak me the fuck out. I'm one of those people that I'm like, I oh can't, I just can't do it. And when it comes time to like, you know, and I'm like, ha, ah, ah, ah. and I think that might be the issue that I was having with that pen because I've just done that without having to scribble on my paper like I normally do. So when you say you want to see lettering, I guess we are talking about, oh, my Tombow does not like this paper. Wow, my Tombow does not like tea stain paper. I'm assuming it is the tea stain and not the... Oh, no, it might be that the pen's running out. Well, this was my first one. Okay, that's that's okay. Because I have like 60 gazillion of them because I bought some and Mikey sent me some and... Of course, I don't know where any of them are. Because I'm a bit pants like that, hang on. Why are they not in that jar? Yes, I did. Um, um, it's... Two ticks while I concentrate on. There you go. Right, that's better. Um, yes. Yeah, it's okay it's nothing to write home about i don't think i don't think it's particularly smooth um it's fallen under under my doohickey and i can't reach it hang on where is it that's because i'm on the wrong side <laughs> um Got it. Um, yeah, Andy sent me this pen. Um, and it's by Tombow, isn't it? Is it a Tombow? I can't remember. And it's just a plain black pen. I couldn't figure out what this bit was for. It didn't seem to do anything. Because at first I thought, oh, you press that to bring your your clicky thing back in but it doesn't yeah um the that is fab that is well strong on it yeah i know it it does but it's not the first pen to boast that is it i mean i had a space pen back in fucking hell 1980 or whenever it was um no it doesn't do anything it doesn't go in it doesn't it doesn't do anything I don't believe it does different colour cartridges. Let's take it apart. Nope, it's one 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 pen. I wouldn't know how to get it out, but there's no other nibs in there. It doesn't press, it doesn't it's weird. 
I can't see. Yeah, I had a space pen. It was really, really good. I can't see how you would change the innards either because it doesn't want to let go. And I don't want to force it. So, yeah. Um, where is my notebook? There it is. Oh, crap. There goes everything. So this is my notebook. Um, that's how it right. It's not particularly dark. And because it, it's short as well. Yeah, I know it does, doesn't it? But it's not. It just seems to be the... I think it's the colour of the spring inside or something. It's not a very long pen. I don't know whether that's to cushion, you know, to angle it correctly on the back of your hand or something. Because it does sort of sit there. Quite. Yeah. You could read it and take notes straight over it. Yeah, I mean, you could, you know, it's apparently you can, you can write. You can write at all angles with it and it won't die and you can um underwater and all that lot of why you would want to i don't know but there you go so yeah like i said i don't know if you could take them because when you pull it as you can see it just pulls the top down so yeah the inside doesn't seem to want to come out you can't get to it at all. That, I find, is a bit of a bummer. I don't know how much these cost. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a space pen in a chunkier body, really. Um, I like that it writes thin, because as you guys know, I like a finer pen. Um, I mean, this is the pen that I do a lot of my... Let's try that again. <laughs> I... Uh, I use a thicker biro in uh, when I'm making notes simply because it just that's just the way it comes out. This writes quite nice and thin, which I like, but I don't like how short it is in the hand. I feel like my hand is scrunched up like that, whereas I I like you know when I'm when I'm writing I like a bit more room, and I mean compared to say an ink joy pen from the top of the barrel down that's a heck of a difference you know so yeah if it was longer i'd probably like it a lot more but to be i will be honest with you i tried it and i went yeah it's okay and then i put it down and i didn't use it again because it fell underneath my desk and i didn't worry about it i did see it the other day and i thought oh shit i'm freezing it. i suppose i've done that for andy but that's about as far as i got with it really so yeah i mean you know against a favor castell it's you know that is a heck of a difference uh phone where did my phone go there it is so look at peyton's little outfit Look at the adorbs. Hi, Sadie. I would, I would be interested to see how it handles rough treatment, Andy. You know, like, I mean, by site, do you mean like building site? How, um, paint her nose pale pink and give her lots of freckles, Amber. She would look adorable like that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you mean building site, I would love to know how that because it's quite a robust pen i mean i don't it doesn't feel like it's going to break i'm putting that under quite a lot of pressure and it doesn't it's not like say like a bic you know which you sneeze on them and they shatter don't they yeah i mean if it's a building site you're talking about give it to one of them i mean i can send it back if if you want a couple to give out and see how they get on but like i said i mean it's yeah this is this is quite strong and robust and it's a hell of a thwack you know yeah put it through its paces it's 
That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Speaking of, where's Henry? You're going to make her a bow, but I don't know how long she'll keep it in. Could you do like a pink bow around each ear and actually tie it around each ear? Or stitch it you know just just a stitch to hold it in place He's eating. That's wallpaper, Tita. That's what's lining the inside of my junk journal. Yeah, just wallpaper. I really like it. I want to do like my whole house in it, but my mum said I couldn't. Which I thought was really off, personally. And I'm like, do you know what? I'm at least going to do my bedroom in it because it gorgeous isn't it okay so it's a high of 15 and a low of 10 and there's been the odd little rain spell No fucking sunrise was not until 7.28. That really sucks. And it went down at 11 minutes past six. I do not like this time of weather. Time of weather. Yes. I do not like this time of weather or this time of year or anything like that. I would need a spaceship bed. Yeah. But just, you know, I d it doesn't show very well on the camera, but it's sparkly. And I, oh, I just love it. I'm like, I want some. I don't know what denotes spooky eyes. So I pulled some off of that. Was it Mikey sent it into chat? No, one of people's bigger than the other. I hate drawing eyes because I can never get it right. Yeah, that would also be cool. No, it's it's very wet. We call it autumn, and autumn in the UK or fall in the UK is wet. Lots and lots and lots of wet, and I fucking hate it so i mean i i ignore the weather to a certain degree and when daryl was little we used to go out in the rain because he was in the push chair and i could just chuck the rain cover over him and i would walk on it and it didn't really bother me but i get cold which i don't like so hi hunter you all right love I just do the ceiling and, and the walls and then put a black carpet down. <gasps> that would look amazing. That would look so cool. I did write headstone, didn't I? Yeah. Skeletons. Oh. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. Mm. 
just move my keyboard so I don't accidentally disconnect myself. Yay. <laughs> this is true. It'd be a very, very dark room though, wouldn't it? But awesome in the summer with the sun sparkling on it. Um. Don't know what my word for today could be. Oh dear me. Oh, excuse me. Live. Good idea. I would do that. <laughs> Glow in the dark, yeah. And hide a uh, TARDIS on it somewhere. Yes, a couple of people have, thank you. Mm 
<laughs> Bad night, honey. Bad night. You need to let your mum asleep, Peyton. Um, so what do, you, what do you want me to do with this lettering? Do you want me to show you how to do the alphabet? Do you want me to talk you through the... Pro I'm not a very patient teacher, so I don't normally teach. <laughs> Callie, I tell you. I've tried to teach her about five times how to knit and I've given up in disgust. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but is the fault with me or with you, Callie? That's the <laughs> four cups in already today. You don't get to check your box in your checker. It wasn't just her, you moved the wrong way the other night and your back popped. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, completely, completely understand that feeling. Heat, darling. Put heat on it. When my back's bad, I put my electric blanket on or I put a hot water bottle in my bed and plaster it to my back. I'll tell you what is good that we get here. I don't know if you have them. Um, hang on. it's this and what you do is you crush it it's one of those chemical reactions where you crush it to get the reaction going and then you stick it but you have to stick it on your clothes don't stick it on your skin and um, they last for like up to 24 hours and they sell these in, in our pound shops. I don't know if your dollar store sells them or, you know, dollar spot or whatever it is that you've got. But, you know, get, get some of those. Yeah, get some for your back. Send Henry down to get you some. Oh, God, excuse me. <laughs> so you guys want a live on Sunday okay I can do that that's last week okay you want a lettering light you want to talk about knitting well you know what give me ideas and I will see what I can do There we go. See, I can't be doing with like fucking around with temperature and that when I've got a migraine. When I've got a migraine, what I need is to go and lie down somewhere where there is not light because I'm photosensitive. It's worse when I've got a migraine. So I need to get it as dark as I can. <laughs> yeah I could do a knitting one I could do that next week if you like oh, pardon me mm. 
Yeah, so I can't do messing around with temperature. And it's like I keep meaning to do that thing where you stick peas on the back of your neck and your feet in hot water and that. But when a migraine hits, I'm too far gone to think about doing that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I make notes of things that I want to put in my journal and uh, I've done that, I've done that, done that. Oh, my car's booked in for, an, for a test. When is that? Monday morning at 10 a.m. Why do I do this to myself? You would like to see how to spin. Okay. I can probably... Um, I'd have to move some things about. Because I'm just trying to think how I would do it so that you can see my wheel. I could show you with a drop spindle. <sighs> what could we do, Amber? change the pen just remembering what I have and haven't done We do need to set up for a crown drill. Fibre to finish project over several weeks. It'll take me ages to do it because I just do not have time to sit and spin at the moment. Mary says no. <laughs> uh, to which part? I still haven't done Hell in the Cell yet, Tina. Uh, Amber. I know I must get on with it no I won't do a wrestling thing because it's not everybody's cup of tea <laughs> hmm could do could do right yesterday was yesterday was pretty good yesterday was pretty good today's been pretty good I'd say my pain's been about there. <coughs> yeah. I'll have to have a think about what I could do. The thing is, the spinning is the thing that would take the time. 
because if I do it with a hand spindle, um, it's going to take ages because I spin very, very fine. Uh, but I can't think of how to get the wheel in here and set up so that you guys can see what I'm doing unless I sit quite far back, which I suppose I could do that. but then you're not gonna be able to see what it is that I'm doing very well. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, I could show, yeah, I would, the thing is, I mean, I've got, obviously, I've got two cameras, because, well, I've got three, I've got the one that's built into the Mac, I've got the one that is currently, because I'm not using my Mac one, um, so I've got a camera there and a camera up there, but the wires aren't fantastically long on it, and it's also getting it set up so that you can see what, what I'm doing with my hands and all of that lot. I'll have to have a think. I will have to have a think on that and come back to it, I think. See see if we can come up with something creative for you guys. I, mean, I could maybe do it, but I would m perhaps have to turn around so that I could have the... Hello, darling. Um have the um camera sort of looking over my shoulder but i'm not sure yeah i'm not sure how to do it i will have a think where there's a will there's a way and i'm very willful as you all know um yes henry to answer your question i am although i've only had one two one two yeah no two because i had one at dinner <laughs> And I've drunk the other one. Slow night. I just haven't got up to go and do it, you know. Um... Get the bins out. Right. Pen. Yeah, what a gross colour. It's like baby poo brown. I've not had chips today, yay. I haven't crafted, I've done about today. I went out and looked at the sorry state of my garden after the workmen have trampled all over it.
Galena requires our help. Night, darling. <clears throat> um, I'll be at home all day tomorrow if you want to pop up. Okay, I know which one I like. Okay. And I'm going to tell you which one I like. Galena, privately. And then we'll see what everybody else thinks. So she just picked that one. Or that one. Yeah, so you've got one or two. Vote now. <laughs> two. Yeah, both of them. Two, mm, this one. Mm, Sandy likes the first one. Suzanne likes the first one. Your hair is pretty close to that as it is now. Mm. Mm, okay, we're, we're tying at the moment, not including yours and my vote, Galena. Pardon me. April. Mm, one, Tita, two. <laughs> Mary, one. Mmm. Well, that kind of scuppers shit, doesn't it, Galena? Because I chose the second one, so we're still even. So that's what she's got now. Mm, Mikey's gone for one, see, so I wrote second. Yeah, I I personally don't like the whole hair all over your face crap, you know? Um, if you could, if you, yeah. I mean, I like that. I think that personally I would find that annoying having hair over my face. Shave it, that's what shave it like Henry. There you go. <clears throat> uh I filled that in. Sleep. I'm gonna have to run off to the loo in a minute because I need to pee. I need more vodka. Oh, I need sleep as well. Yeah, that explains why I'm tired. I was apparently awake for hours in the night. Ten past eleven till quarter past two. And then half past four. Till seven o'clock. Couple of bad nights, really. I think the shorter one would be less annoying if if your hair is annoying you so i mean even though mine's cut short that's why i still wear it up because it gets in my face and it bugs me otherwise you know right i've done the loo and the laundry which is why my bangs as you call them is always off my face because otherwise they would just annoy me if you're tired say good night yeah of course i'm tired i'm always freaking tired but I won't go to bed because I don't do that. Wrong page. <laughs> <sighs> there we go. No, I haven't. Your hair's pissing off, but you're growing it out. Well, in that case, you shouldn't cut it. <laughs> the, the, the second one looks like there's lots of layers in it, in which case they can be a shit to grow so i mean the issue i've got which is i mean while it's like this it's it's great but it tends to you know i tend to get the whole curtains thing going on which bugs me a little bit if i could get it to stay like that i'd be quite happy but i hear an alex
At least I hope it's not, Alex. If not, I'm being burgled and you need to call the police. Yeah, you're being burgled. I'm being burgled. Awesome. Most exciting things ever happened to you. Yeah. Hey, Sam, what's sleep? That's that thing you did inadvertently, which made you late for my life. Yeah, if you're trying to grow it out, trim it, but don't cut it. Hello, darling. How's wrestling? It's good. It's good? It's good. New bruises? Don't know. Don't know yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see how you feel when you wake up tomorrow. Take a nice stiff crossbody. Oh, lovely. Like Travis. Everyone knew it was a stiff crossbody. Not only because Travis didn't fucking box it whatsoever, but because I went down and I was like, oh! <laughs> 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 they um they, they waxed <laughs> and then the next... one of the guys that's is it one the one in the fatal four way yeah. apparently it's a little bit of a bear this yeah. chap so um they i don't whose idea was it was it his or everybody else's no it's tasha's and he went along with it oh it's one of the girls um it was her idea that they were gonna sit him down and wax him and they filmed it as well and um hello internet and um yeah it's uh it's, he screamed like a girl he screamed like a pussy yeah it's a good match unfortunately the very stiff crossbody caused me to abandon another mo a move that i was gonna do but, right well because i spent the whole thing going <gasps> <gasps> i can't breathe can't breathe yeah. yeah see i would get it trimmed galena and Leave it at that if you're wanting to grow it out. Amber wants to know how your leg is. My leg? Yeah, you are a nice big bruise. Oh, my leg's fine, yeah. It stopped hurting today, basically. Okay. I've still got a lump on my ankle. Got a list. Oh, still got a lump on you my ankle. you still got that lump on your ankle? From the first session. Four months ago. Still got a lump. Mm. My wrist's better as well. Still couldn't do push ups. Well, kind of. I do push ups. Not that. <laughs> yeah. Cause, which is way harder. They are a thing, the Spider Man push ups, still need to be your fingers. What about your knuckles? You tried it that way. It's just the way I compre yeah, could have tried it on my knuckles, I suppose. Yeah, I probably could have done it on my knuckles. Yeah. Because it's that. Hurts. It's the pressure on the heel, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, he didn't get waxed. One of one of the guys he's facing, he's in a in a match um, in the on the twenty sixth, and it's it's a it's a four man match basically, four people against each other. Three and four. All. One one of one of the guys is a tad hairy. Not anymore, he's not. So, but well, he was a tad well, hairy. Well, his back. She hasn't done his front yet. Oh, oh, he's oh, so he's still got to have his front done. <laughs> yeah. What about his legs? Is he going to do his legs too? He's kind of hot then, isn't he? Having a bare bod and hairy legs and arms. Very tight. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they'll do his arms, but... I'm not going to shave or wax. No. I've got anything to shave or wax, really. No. I'd be interested to know whether the tights itch, you know, with oh, hairy legs, because you have hairy legs. I don't know. Probably find out on Sunday. Okay, Tita, darling. See you later. <clears throat> It should be wearable by then. Mm. So probably. It's it. It's it. And it's it purple for you. Is it? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. <sighs> Ribs hurt a bit. He's he's that nigga. No, it's just I can't take a deep breath at the moment. Because mm. I got crushed. You crushed it. Right, do you want to talk to the internet while I run to the toilet? I did get to try my um, new suplex sequence on Travis during free time. Cool. And it looked really good. Let me just go for a wee. And then pour myself a drink. Oh. Hello, internet. Fuck me, I look terrible. I have hair everywhere. Hello, Mary. It's 
Grim Blackrock is going to do a crown jewel. I fucking I hate these storylines of these like guys that aren't even pro wrestlers being in fucking big matches. I hate shit like that. How was my day? Not too bad. I pretty much did nothing until training. Because I signed a contract with KFC two weeks ago and they haven't given me any hours yet. Because they are processing the paperwork. We women have done it for a long time asking to take it like a woman. <laughs> uh, that's good, good advice. He signed with WWE. Yawn. I'm sure he'll last just as long as Ronda Rousey did. All of five minutes. Ooh. You messy bitch. I just ka -chinged. Ka -chinged? Ah. Yeah, a lot of these MMA fighters and boxers and stuff that go to WWE have no fucking idea what it's like because there's so much more traveling and it wipes them out and that's what the problem Ronda Rousey had. She's now on Total Diva, yeah, because she's still technically signed with WWE but she's wimped out because of the traveling. Can I? No. Broadcast from my phone and the computer to one YouTube channel at the same time? No. It would conflict. Because. I said no, damn it. No, well, I'm going to tell you why. Um, they want to see me spin. My hair looks just fine. My hair looks sweaty and messy. And yucky. They want to see me spinning. <coughs> but I don't know how to do it. I would have to completely move everything, wouldn't I? Probably. If I move that camera, I put my wheel there. What could I clip that camera to? I don't blow you now. Hmm, okay. Get my Table, chair. probably. It's a bit... Oh, I don't know. Come on, get out my chair. But I'm comfy. I don't care, get out my chair. I don't Before care I that you want me out your chair. I'm pick comfy. up sharp things and start poking you with them. I didn't get the jacket on upstairs, for fuck's sake. Jackets are for wimps. Oh, I went upstairs and I didn't get a card in. I'm cold now. <coughs> oh, uh, um, yeah, I'm thinking I can put. If she wants to take time off, why do Total Divas? Because she didn't want to travel. That's, that that's, Rhonda? Yeah, that's what she had trouble with, was, was all the travelling. I'm thinking... My cart sits next to me. There. I could move my cart and put my spinning wheel there. And then that camera, which is attached to my light, which looks down... I would have to clip somewhere else so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm wondering if I could clip it to the side of the desk. I see a little silhouette. Mm. I think I miss YouTube. I was never a YouTuber. No, he was a twitcher. I just, I he was, twitched. I was a live streamer to the website of Twitch. Yes, April twitches. Twitch is superior. Yeah, yes dear, whatever. Twitch is the future. So that, I could maybe do that. I just have to figure out what I can attach that camera to. Hmm. Don't put the lid out in the thingy. Oh. Goes in the bag with all the other lids. There's vodka in the freezer. No, 
I don't think it would be too much hassle. I'm just trying to think on how to do it. Because thankfully the cable on the camera is quite long. And the one that's above that one is on one of those gooseneck things with a clip. It's just not a very long one, that's the trouble. I'm wondering if I can attach it to that table. Yeah, that's quite thin. I could probably attach it to that because the wheel's yeah, only about that height anyway. The length of the cable. Yeah. Like I said, the cable length is quite long on these, isn't it? I don't know if it's that long. Yeah, I think it would be. I might have to go along the table. Yeah. And then I can just put the wheel and just have it looking down over the wheel. I had some good technical wrestling with Kane. Yeah. Until he got me with the mandible claw, the bastard. <laughs> he started doing that to people. <laughs> and he got with me with the mandible claw and I was like, my, ma my mouth tastes like ass. Ollie's? What is Ollie's? Climb, you bugger, climb. I rinsed the bath out after Daryl had a bath. Thanks. Cleared all the crap out. Said to Daryl, you can't have all of your toys in there because it takes me three hours to get them all out again. I said, you can just have a few because it's only a quick bath. Because yeah. your brother will want a bath when he gets home. This is true. <laughs> I also want food, but... You know. A buyout store. I, I don't know what that is. Yeah. What, like a discount store where you can buy cheaper things? Ooh. <coughs> a bath spider. Yeah. Oh, do you not know about my bath spider? Who wrote Bath Spider? Um, yeah, I have a, I have a Bath Spider. Basically, what happened was I had my bathroom uh, refurbished not that long ago, and during the refurbishing, my plumber lost the plug that goes in the bath. Uh, he knocked it off the bath and it's it is it's underneath the bath but then of course he sealed all the bath round with panels and all that lot we can't get we can't get in there yeah and it's it's yeah it's my bath spider Sunday when other stores liquidate stock oh okay oh that sounds cool we don't have anything like that here I don't think I need to fit the cup. 
card she sent me in as well. Somehow. <clears throat> Figure that out. Yeah, see, we don't have a big lot. So we don't have anything like that. You guys have so many cool shops, it's just not fair. I'm jealous. So many cool shops. I've got every single pen out and I'm just like, where the hell is it all? So I can put it all away. Cool idea to use your tag stamp. Go on then, share with the class. I completely reorganised my pencil case so that I wouldn't end up doing this and I still do it. It's annoying that I still do this. That's better. I need to actually make some tags so I can put them in. Sounds cool. I need to um, my son sent me a list of who won and I need to set that up. could be cool. a little starry stamp like that one that I got off of Ali and then you could like grade um, so it's like stars with a line like that so you could stamp it write the show above it and then you could grade it that would be cool as well I haven't used this yet <laughs>
Yeah, I do, Mikey. I'm the same. I can't stand spoilers. Really annoys me. I was so, so, so hacked off with flipping the last Avengers film because I'd managed to avoid all spoilers. My kids know not to tell me spoilers and all that shit. And then I found out because I couldn't go to the cinema to watch it because... I have to weigh up, do I really, really, really want the pain of sitting in a cinema or movie theatre to you guys um, for three hours at an extortionate amount of money when I can wait an extra six months for it to come out on DVD? And I decided with Endgame that I was not going to go and see it, that I was going to wait for it to come out on DVD because Kyle... Um, I know you don't. Kyle pre-orders Avengers DVDs because he loves the films. And I think Endgame came out, was it August? And I got as far as Wimbledon. And that young lady, Coco Goff, who basically like shocked everybody at Wimbledon by smashing Venus Williams out in the first round, um, did a t uh, newspaper interview. And um, one of the questions they asked her was, when was the last time you cried? And she said, when I watched Endgame and such and such and such happened. And I was like, And I, I had a right go at the paper because it's not online, online. And in the comments, I said, you know, I've managed to go all this time without finding out. Please take into consideration that not everybody can go to the movies due to disability or, you know, even finances or, you know, like in my case at the moment, childcare. I don't have childcare to be able to go. And there is not a single movie theatre on the island that show movies before 3 p.m. So I can't go while Daryl's at school. You know, even if I could afford to, it's like £9 to go to the main cinema here. And it's uncomfortable and it hurts. So I don't go unless I really, really, really cannot wait those extra few months. You know, that's why mum asking me to take a seat down to was such a huge thing. And I was so pissed off because they ruined it. And I was just like, Do you know, I've gone all these months without seeing it. And <laughs> you assholes. All you, all you had to write was... The last time she cried was when she watched Avengers Endgame. Not why she cried. Because you've just ruined it for everybody who's waiting for the DVD. Assholes. Yeah, when they, and they're so gleeful about it. Stuart was a shit because he, he did that to me when I went to see um, the first of the new Star Wars films. And... Um, Yeah, if, if somebody asks you, dude, what happened? Because I'm not going to get around to watching it. That's fine. But to not actually, you know, to come out with it is, is a shit thing. And he, he he did the spoiler for me. He told me who died in it, in the uh, episode uh, seven or whatever the fuck it is. I've lost count now. And he told me who died. But he said it in such a way that he knew I wouldn't believe him. And I went, yeah, yeah all right, babe, whatever. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I got to the end and I didn't even leave the movie theatre I didn't even leave my seat and I phoned him up and he picked it up and I went you shit <laughs> and I phoned it and he cracked up and he was like I knew you wouldn't believe me that's why I could tell you what happened <laughs> and I was just like you absolute shit <laughs> but I didn't go into it going oh, fucking hell Stuart ruined it for me because I honestly believed that he was lying but <laughs> and the shit thing was was um i'd gone with alex to see it and the last two films last two or three films that alex and i've gone to the movies to see he's found out like a key part of it within days of us going like we went to see um star trek into darkness the one with bendit cumberbatch and he found out l right at the last minute who Benedict Cumberpatch was playing and he, he kept it to himself because he knew I'd go mad if he told me and I cottoned on halfway through I clicked at, at probably the time you were supposed to who he was and um I turned around to him and I went it's you know I'm not saying in case you haven't seen it um although you should have by now I went oh he's so and so and Alex didn't say anything until we got to the end of the film and he turned around to me and said I found out yesterday and I was like oh no and then when we went to see Star Wars, we got to the end of the film and I turned around and I went, Stuart fucking told me he's going to die. And he looked at me and said, did he? I said, yeah, but I didn't believe him. And he said, I found out last week. <laughs> I was like, dude, you need to avoid the internet before we go and see films because you always find out. Oh, yeah, the butler always says it. Yeah, it's always the butler's fault. Mm. Yeah, 
but you wouldn't because you know i don't like spoilers you wouldn't say oh yeah you know did you see raw when such and such happened because <laughs> i would go amber i'm gonna block you now for the rest of eternity <laughs> But I don't I don't watch trailers. I don't watch movie trailers. And although I'm not a gamer, I don't I don't play video games. Um, Alex does. And I quite often like to sit and watch him. And um, if we're waiting for a new game to come out, like the Assassin's Creed series, I love the Assassin's Creed games. They are like my all time fave. Um, we 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 did go and see. What was it we went to see? We went to see something and we went with all of the boys. There was me and, and the three older boys went to see a film. I can't remember what it was now. And a, a new Assassin's Creed game was coming out. And we are all fans of Assassin's Creed. And as soon as the trailer started, all of us, <laughs> all four of me and three boys, sat there, shut our eyes and stuck our fingers in our eyes like that. And it was like, we must have sat there like five minutes. And when we opened our eyes, there's people sitting there going, what the fuck? And it was like, has it finished yet? <laughs> Because none of us wanted to know because we don't like spoilers, as you say. And trailers spoil it. They always do. They either show you like the really, really good bits or they show you stuff that's completely out of context and it ruins it. Sage has made you send me her dress for Halloween. Awesome. Hang on just a second. Oh, that's pretty. That's very frozen. Oh, hang on. Let me let me embiggen it. I like. I like his. Are you going trick-or-treating or are you going to a party? <laughs> My nose is running. It's got a cold. I didn't grab a card when I was upstairs. I'm such an idiot. Pardon me. So next week, Sage, I don't know if your mum's told you, I've got a spinning wheel and I spin fluffy fibre into yarn that you can like knit and crochet with. And I'm hoping to do that, not Sunday coming, but the Sunday afterwards. If you're interested in watching, I don't know whether that's your kind of thing. You might like think Cinderella type spinning wheel. So if you want to watch that, you might find that quite interesting. Oh, trick or treating! Awesome. Yeah, I like costumes like that. And you'll be lucky if you get painted out of a Scooby Doo outfit ever. <laughs> I have got the opportunity to go to a Halloween party with Daryl on Saturday during the day. Yeah, I do. I have a I have a spinning wheel in the other room. Um, yeah, I have an opportunity to go to a Halloween party next Saturday, the twenty sixth. But then that means I'm out all day, taking Daryl to this Halloween party, all day, and then coming home and feeding him, and then going out again for the evening. And I just think that's a bit more peopling than I can handle. <coughs> Uh, yeah. Hmm. Need to tell Wendy off tomorrow because she's gone to bed now because I made her step lots. I don't know what she's up to. Jolyn, you here? Do you know what Wendy's current step count is? I know she's leading the work week hustle, fuck's sake. She's like 40,000 steps in front of everybody else. <laughs> she's a nut job. See if I can find it. It's Lucy's. It? Yeah, 49,432 steps. Wow. And I'm on 14,000. <laughs> Hi Mackenzie, how are you doing? Tacky glue doesn't work for fabric. Aileen's does. That's what I used on my junk journal. And it's worked great. 
and I used it on on all of it. I used it on the upholstery fabric, the spiderweb sheer stuff, and the um, that stuff, the the trim. It's worked great. I used quite a lot of it, I think, but yeah, that does. What brand was it? was it? Was it this stuff or was it somebody else? Oh, really? Hmm. I must admit, I used quite a lot. And then I used a, a brush to like smooth it out because otherwise under that um, spiderweb gauzy stuff, it was lumpy. Yeah, see that's stuck down with it. That's upholstery vinyl. And that's stuck down, no issues at all. That's weird, I wonder why it's not working for you. Oh, to glue two fabrics together. What kind of fabric is it? Because it does say not intended for washable wearables. You might want to maybe look at um, Fabri-Tac or... Um, yeah. Um, I got something from... I don't know where it is. I got something from my local haberdashery shop and it says spray-on glue for um for um fabrics it maybe it's worth see if you can find something like that. i don't know where it is otherwise i'll dig it out i keep reorganizing and then promptly losing shit That might be your best bet. I must admit, I did find with the upholstery vinyl that I had to press on it and wait quite a while before it actually stuck. If I if I let you know if I put it into place and smoothed it and then let go, it it didn't stick. I had to hold it for quite a while. So, hey Gail, you all right, love? You've misplaced your fabric. How can you misplace fabric? Tack? Don't you keep it in the same place. Ow. And it's not letting you chat. Oh, we can see you now. Oh, excuse me. Mm. I would try, I, I will be honest, I left mine overnight. Every time I used it, I leave, left it overnight before I tried. And it it's, well, as you can see, it's not, I mean, I could pull it apart if I was brutal with it, but it's not, it's not going to come apart anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, so do I, Mary, it's a curse, isn't it? Yeah, I, I would maybe try it overnight and see, see what happens then. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh dear. Right. I'm going to love you and leave you all because I am getting tired. Did you post too many? Mm, no, she didn't really. And I didn't click anything, so... You 
YouTube hates you. Normally it comes up and tells you if you um if you're posting too much. I usually find you wait like five seconds and it lets you post again. Oh, I haven't watched that. I didn't know she'd done it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'd like to make one of those books with like the fancy binding up the spine. Like, um, there's a company in the UK called Citrus Book Bindery. Uh, they're quite popular all over with bullet journalers, and they make life flat journals in a hard cover. Um, and they do like this fancy like crisscross binding, and it looks amazing. And I'm like, oh, I so want to do that. <coughs> I might have a go at that next. <laughs> uh, I'm going to end up with empty journals sitting around waiting because that beast over there is going to take me a while to get through. Okay, darling. See you later on. Enjoy dinner. Right. I'm going to go and get on. And get ready for bed because I'm tired, girl. Mm. Thank you for joining me. I really, really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, thumbs up. Off to Joanne's. Awesome. Have fun. I'd love to go to Joanne's. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to figure out how to do it. Go on, have a go, I think, at some point. So I did um screenshot it and I drew it down. I think it's quite easy, um, quite easy to do. So. Right. Thank you for joining me and... I will see you, hopefully uh, I will do a Today in My Bullet Journal tomorrow, <laughs> and um, yeah, I will upload my stash of stuff that T has sent us, because um, Daryl and Callie were here when we opened it, um, and quite happy with all that lot, and um, yeah, thanks very much for joining me guys, I will see you next time. Take it easy. Love you all. Loads and loads and loads.